In this video, we're going to work through some examples on how to convert terminating decimals to fractions. The first type we're going to cover are the ones where the fractions don't need further simplifying. Our first example is 0 0.7. Since there's one digit after the decimal point, we read this as 7 tenths. And as a fraction, this is 7 over 10. Note here that we've got one digit after the decimal point. This corresponds to one zero after the one. Our second example is 0 0.03. Two digits after the decimal point, we read this as three hundredths, and as a fraction, this is 3 over 100. Here we have got two digits after the decimal point. This corresponds to two zeros after the one. Our third example is 0 0.009. Three digits after the decimal point, we read this as nine thousandths, and this is the same as nine over a thousand as a fraction. Three digits after the decimal point corresponds to three zeros after the one. So I'm hoping that you're now beginning to observe the pattern. Our next example is 0 0.57. Here we've got two digits after the decimal point, so it gets read as 57 hundredths, which is the same as 57 over 100 as a fraction. Again, you've got two digits after the decimal point corresponding to two zeros after the one. Our next example is 2.3. This time our number contains the whole part 2 and the fractional part 0 0.3. So this is read as two wholes and three tenths, and it gets written as 2 whole, 3 over 10. So the point 0.3, one digit after the decimal point, corresponds to 3 tenths, where we have got 1 zero after the 1. And the last example for this type is 10.063. Here we've got 10 holes and we've got 63 thousandths. So as a fraction, we're going to write as 10 with 63 over 1,000. Again, we've got three digits after the decimal point corresponding to three zeros after the one. Our next set of examples are of the second type, where this time, after converting the decimals to fractions, we need to further simplify it to the simplest form. Our first example is 0 0.4. One digit after the decimal point, we read this as 4 tenths, and this is equal to 4 over 10 as a fraction. But because 4 over 10 isn't in simplest form, we can divide top and bottom by the highest common factor of 2, and this gets reduced to 2 fifth. So 0 0.4 is equal to 2 fifth. Next example is 0 0.32. Two digits after the decimal point, we read this as 32 hundredths or 32 over 100. And again, we can simplify this by dividing top and bottom by the highest common factor of 4. So we're going to get 8 over 25. Third example is 0 0.125. Three digits after the decimal point, we read this as 125 thousandths which is equal to 125 over 1,000. This time we can divide the top and the bottom by the highest common factor, which is 125, and this will be equal to 1 a. Now we've got 0 0.016, three digits after the decimal point, so this is equal to 16 thousandths, which is the same as 16 over 1,000. This time we can divide the top and the bottom by 8, so we're going to get 2 over 125. Our next example is 1.05. We now have got both the whole part and the fractional part. We've got one whole and 0 0.05, so this is read as one whole and five hundredths. So we have got one, five over 100 as a fraction. The five over 100 can be simplified by dividing top and bottom by five. And the final answer for this is one and 1 20th. Last example, we've got 2.375. Again, we've got the whole part and the fractional part. Here we've got two holes, three digits after the decimal point. We also have 375,000. So as a fraction, we first write it as two whole, 375 over 1,000, but then we can divide top and bottom of the fraction by 125, and this will give us 2 and 3 eighths. 
Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please check out our channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We release videos weekly and we hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.